So talk a little bit about what you do with pediatrics. I know that that was one of your areas that, that you particularly like and focus on. Mm -hmm. What are some of the areas that you're seeing in, with children and, and what are some of the areas that you feel that you're able to really make an impact with children? Mm -hmm. Some of the things that I noticed, well, is, is really the exposure to, and it goes back to environmental medicine. That's mm -hmm. also one of my passions. Okay, so you'll cool. have to excuse me, but no. um, a lot of the the exposure to not only heavy metals really but more specifically like plastics are concerning um, because it causes endocrine disruption so we're seeing a lot of children who are developing type 2 diabetes at the age of eight or a lot of girls who mm. are starting their menstruation at the age of eight wow and and that's significantly earlier than it was 20 years ago whereas the average start of menses was maybe 12 13 so that's like five years earlier. And, you know, I'm sure there's other causes uh, as well as the hormones in beef children are eating. So, and, but also the plastics, really, it's like a lot of plastics that we eat. Anyways, um, that that is a key, that is a huge thing that I'm seeing with children. And, and a lot of the parents who bring their kids to me, they frequently don't, want um, their kids to be vaccinated as well. So that's another big issue is, um, that I see on occasion. Um, they, they ask about vaccine schedules. It's a huge issue, mm -hmm. I'm sure, in California as well with the, the vaccine law. Yeah, it's mandated now. Mandated for children in, in school. It's kind of, to me, it's personally kind of scary. It seems like you're taking away our our rights as far as uh, some of them go yeah. here in the United States yeah. um, to conform consent. I mean, we don't have that informed consent. We don't have that law or yeah. in California anyway, because they're saying to go to school, you have to have vaccines, which right. uh, is, is mind blowing to me. But what's your take on vaccines? And, and before you go into that, I'd like to step back. Young children that come in that are having some of these early onset uh, normal body functions, but they're so much earlier. Is there anything that you can do to help them? Or is that just something that they're too far gone at that point already at eight years old? That's scary. No, I don't think they're too far gone. Um, really, the other part that comes into the component is educating the parent. Hmm. And most of the time, the parents are really diligent about trying to reduce exposure and they really want to help their kid. Um, the other part to trying to help these children with their hormones and their endocrine other than cleaning up the diet and trying to clean up um, their their exposures is also trying to boost like their immune systems mm -hmm. um, basically what i what i try to do is give them the minimum um, amount that they need to take but to have the maximum impact 